<laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. Georgia versus UAB, uh, three thirty today. Uh, this was this was filmed prior to today when it comes out, but yeah, you'll get it. Uh, what do you want me to say? Uh, UGA one hundred, uh, UAB uh, three. Have a great day. Uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> There's a little more to it than that, right? So uh, this is one of those games where you got to hype yourself up to make the hype video. That everybody wants to be hyped up for so yeah all right so here it goes i'm not gonna do a whole bunch of kicking down punching down the uab uab is a pretty decent school for the conference they're in they got i don't know three four conference championships um uh, georgia got more national championships and they got uh conference championships and, and i'm talking about all the unclaimed stuff so don't 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 get at me with that stuff um Listen, UAB, we don't. We appreciate y'all helping us out. You know, second week here, we got some healing up to do. JT Dan is gonna be out. Carson Best gonna be in. Y'all gonna run for negative yards. You're probably gonna pass for maybe fifty. Uh, George gonna spend so much time in the backfield. They are gonna set up camp uh, and they are gonna stake out a claim and they are gonna mine for gold because uh, the quarterback's gonna live underground. Uh, that's just what's gonna happen. Jordan Day is out. To, it, it's competition at this point, not to get a sack, but who can get the most sacks. And unfortunately, UAB, that's you this week. There ain't no way that y'all's players watched us play last week against Clemson and y'all's offensive line went, oh, we got this. This easy. No problem. There's no way that happened. Uh, they just got DJ Wonga Laley out of the nervous hospital and uh, he just, just stopped talking to himself with random mumblings during daylight hours. Um, still, still some problems at nighttime. We, we have to leave some lights on for him. But at nighttime, man, it's a problem. It's, it's, it's problem. Um, he, he keeps saying something about uh, Davis, Dean, uh, and Dangery. Uh, I don't know what it means, but that's what he keeps saying. And that that kind of that kind of stress can bleed over to other fan, you know, other football teams. I don't know what to tell y'all. Uh, the best thing I can tell you is 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 uh, if y'all kneel it every down that you get it, so that you punt it away, it will look better on you than what George is about to do. I'm not trying to talk smack. I'm just telling you, it's going to be bad. Uh, you, you're going to get to see Brock. Uh, man, you might get to see Brock Vandergrift. You're going to get to see Carson Beck. JT Daniels is going to be on the hill up a duty. Uh, it's assignment. You know, he's trying to get better over there. But uh, Carson Beck's got more than enough tools. Uh, Georgia beat Clemson with uh, basically half a football team. Basically, the only thing we had was defense because our star quarterback was injured. We're missing like 95% of our players on offense. I think at one point there, we had some of the – the ushers that was in the stands come down to kind of help out on the on the offense because didn't have nobody. Uh, now that we got a few people back and they're gonna let Carson Beck throw the ball, what are y'all gonna do now? Now I'm not trying to say Carson Beck would have done a better job against Clemson. Uh, probably sure he probably wouldn't have. However, uh, they felt comfortable with JT Daniels doing what he was doing, so we just rolled rolled with it. Uh, and unfortunately, we're gonna roll right on over y'all. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be bad. I hate to tell y'all this, it's gonna be bad. Uh, that stadium is going to be absolutely rocking. Uh, 93,000 Georgia fans, they're going to fill that stadium to capacity. It's probably going to be the first time that stadium was filled to capacity in probably about a year and a half. Uh, it's going to be rough, y'all. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be rough. Uh, that place is going to be super loud. I wish it was a night game. Game comes on at 3.30. Um, but... I, <sighs> I would not be surprised if that place is absolutely lights out loud until about halftime and then everybody's probably going to leave because the game's going to be over by that point. Probably see a running clock second half. Uh, the coach is just going to want to get that over with, get his guys on the bus and get out of there with any any form of, of decency, uh, dignity they have left, which won't be much. UAB, no offense to losing Georgia tomorrow. Um I'm going to do you a favor, and I'm going to give you a whole lot of credit on offense, and I'm going to say at some point, uh, y'all kick a field goal. Um, Carson back back there, and we can actually throw the ball. You're probably going to see Georgia go for somewhere around, I'm going to say, 45 points. So I'm going to put Georgia at 45 to 3, 
And uh, if we come up at like 38 and three, but we knock it on the goal line, I'm still counting it. So, uh, yeah, really appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, dogs going on top. We're going to go 45 to three. Uh, have a great day. God bless. And thoughts and prayers to DJ. <laughs> and go dogs. <laughs>